The on-screen text is EVP captioning from EVPs that I hear later when reviewing audio. If you want to hear the EVPs, I suggest you wear headphones. I mean, I had to make a reservation in advance, and I specifically chose this place because Gandhi's ashes were here. I even watched the movie Gandhi last night, and then arriving today and finding out it's his birthday. That's, that's pretty killer. I'm Brett, I'm a psychic medium, and I am at Missile Park at Point Magoo. It's a little museum of missiles and a couple jets. And we've got these aircraft that are landing right now. And I am going to talk about synchronicity. Why at a missile base? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, because synchronicity does work this way. I hope not, actually, I hope I hope there is no synchronicity with seeing the fighter planes and the bombs and the missiles at this base. Synchronicity is meaningful coincidence. So it's something that happens. It'll be a sign, a symbol, an event that coincides in an unreal way with something else. And, you know, I, while, while trying to come up with things to talk about for this episode for synchronicity, I'm like, okay, what are experiences that I've had with synchronicity? And unfortunately, or fortunately, my lifestyle and what I'm doing and being psychic and all of this stuff, I'm not having things that I consider synchronicity. I'm not having a whole lot of experiences of synchronicity because I get signs and I get symbols and I feel like I'm following the path and everything all the time. And so nothing jumps out as a crazy coincidence. I keep looking over at the planes that are landing and it's just trippy. But with synchronicity, I'm not having the experiences. I'm not seeing it all the time because I'm already kind of on the path and the guideposts that are synchronicity aren't as, they don't stand out to me as much as they do when you're first starting to get these experiences. So they're signs, they're symbols, they're events, and they're just occurrences that kind of tell you that you're on your path. Or they're things that are saying, listen, pay attention. Or they're messages that the other side or your higher self or the universe, the other side is trying to get to you. How is synchronicity different than a normal coincidence? I think normal coincidences don't have meaning behind them. They aren't as important. And usually with synchronicity, I see that it happens again and again and again. It's not just a one-time occurrence that's, oh wow, that's a coincidence. Um, it's something that happens over and over again. So you'll have a series of coincidences that create a synchronicity. So me being at a missile park, just somewhere interesting that I thought we could film, if I start seeing missiles, if they start coming up in my life over and over again, or I see them tonight, I go home and my feed is all about missiles. That's an interesting thing. Or, it's, or it could be um, my phone listening to me and accessing that I was at the missile park or that I was talking about missiles and I said missiles like five times in a 30 second period. I mean, that, that could do it too, but I mean, yeah, if we see missiles, if they keep coming up, and I will film or I will note every time that I see missiles or airplanes in the next few days, and we'll see if there is any synchronicity with this, because this is a weird spot to pick to do an episode, right? Weird spot. Okay, so what, what's the difference between a coincidence and synchronicity? I think that synchronicity is a series of events, a series of coincidences that are very meaningful for you, that give you messages or tell you that you're on your path. All right, who makes synchronicity happen? I don't know. You know, there are a lot of things that happen with um, psychic phenomena. There, are, like when you're reading tarot cards or something, I'm not sure who decides or who makes the things happen, who controls
I'm not sure who controls synchronicity or who makes these things happen. Everybody's being really loud, all of the aircraft. Who makes synchronicity happen? I'm not sure. It's one of those things that's really beyond me. Let me ask. I feel like I'm getting some sort of answer, like it's between you and God. What does that mean? That seems, who makes synchronicity happen? What's happening with synchronicity? Time and space are more than, it's, it's more than we understand it. Um, time and space is different than we understand. Time and space is different than we understand. So what's happening? What's the simple version? What, what's happening in synchronicity? Okay, I'm getting, we, we're guiding you. We're putting things in your path to make things happen or to make you do things. All right, I'm being overrun with people, so I'm gonna to have to continue with synchronicity somewhere else. Let's see if missiles or aircraft or Navy, if military stuff shows up again. That would be synchronicity, right? I'm not gonna look for it. So continuing my talk on synchronicity, last time I was at the missile base, this time I'm at a site where Gandhi's ashes are and I'm here because I feel like it's the absolute opposite of what the missile park was. The missile park was kind of a tribute to destruction and warfare and the military and this is a tribute to peace and personal responsibility and responsibility to society. So it's kind of the opposite. Another thing about this location versus that location, synchronicity is unplanned. You don't plan synchronicity. The other spot was a kind of place where you do have synchronicity because it's unplanned. We happened to see it on a map and just pulled over and thought, oh, this is an interesting spot. Let's check it out. And I started to do my synchronicity talk there. With this spot, I made a conscious decision. I chose this place. And so this place is, there's definitely not gonna be synchronicity here. Except when we showed up, they said, you're here on Gandhi's birthday. And I specifically chose this place because Gandhi's ashes were here. I even watched the movie Gandhi last night because I wanted to make sure I knew more about Gandhi and then arriving today and finding out it's his birthday. That's, that's pretty killer. I mean, I had to make a reservation in advance to be here today because they've got this place locked down. You really aren't supposed to be doing any sort of video here and you're supposed to be wearing your mask and they've got lots of protocols in, in place and lots of their, uh, their team cruising around making sure you're following the instructions and stuff, so. For example, that guy. I didn't know it was Gandhi's birthday, so is that synchronicity or just a coincidence? I don't know, we'll see. Because usually uh, synchronicity goes in a series, a series of events, a series of occurrences, a series of synchronicities. It's not just one thing. How can we recognize synchronicity? We have to be careful of wishful thinking versus critical thinking. Uh, wishful thinking is where we're just seeing significance in everything that happens. We're seeing meaning in everything that happens. There was a show that came out, Hellier. Um, if you are into this kind of stuff or the paranormal, it's definitely a documentary to check out. But they talk about synchronicity a lot in that. And they're seeing a name over and over again. And this name, it's not that unique. So I think that's more wishful thinking than synchronicity. Of course, there's another situation in that show where uh, balloons start popping up all over the place. And we're talking about balloons out 
in the forest, out in the middle of nowhere, a helium balloon will fall out of the sky and be related to something they're talking about. And that's like a signpost or a waypost telling them that this is important. It's synchronicity. That's how that works. So there's wishful thinking versus uh, critical thinking. And then if you're doing wishful thinking, um, it's also considered confirmation bias. And that's kind of where you're looking for something. So with confirmation bias, I was kind of countering that with the uh, talk the other day of cell phones. And if cell phones are listening into my talk and showing me missiles because I said missiles a bunch of times and Facebook or whatever is listening in and going to advertise missiles to me. Examples of synchronicity. There are numbers, like 1111, that's a big one. Consecutive numbers, one, two, three, four. Significant dates, significant times. Uh, birthdays. Something I get all the time is 1117. And that's not a birthday, it's not a significant event, but it's a number that just comes in a lot. And I think it's my guides trying to give me information. Now what's happening with this synchronicity, like what's happening here, is the other side or your subconscious is directing your attention to these things. So how I'll see these numbers, how I'll see 11, 17 all the time. The other side is directing my attention to look at the clock when it's 11, 17, or to see that number as I'm passing it on a road. Another example of synchronicity is symbols. So these are personal symbols, significant things to you. So if you have a tattoo or something that means something to you, that's something. Or like coins can be symbols that the other side will place in your path or direct your attention to. Um, I noticed that insects are big symbols. And those are ones like even Carl Jung, his big example is a scarab beetle showing up at a certain time as a symbol. Um, I see butterflies as symbols, ladybugs, even spiders can be symbols. And these are things that have significant meaning for you and they will show up repeatedly. Another example are messages. And these are literal messages. These are things coming directly from, like, it's bumper stickers that are telling you don't take the job <laughs> or songs that are telling you literally what you need to hear or even overhearing strangers talking about something again it's not something where you're doing wishful thinking and it's not planned it's not deliberate this is something happening out of the blue that you aren't expecting another example of synchronicity are events and these are occurrences that happen repeatedly. And a lot of times the kinds of occurrences are, um, it's, it's definitely something that happens external from you. So it's something happening in time and space. So an event or something like that, but it also coincides a lot of times with what's happening um, inside with your mental or emotional things, your psychic information that you're getting. How can you bring more synchronicity into your life? You have to pay attention and you have to be open to it and accepting of it and trusting of it. You kind of need to make a formal de declaration that says like, yeah, I'm open to it. Show me more. I'm paying attention. I'm trying to see the pattern. I'm trying to learn what this means. And how can you tell what it means? Basically, that's up to you. Uh, one thing is to look for patterns. When does this happen? Why does this happen? Um, turn inward, like check with yourself, check your gut feelings, check with your guides, talk to yourself, ask yourself, what does this mean? You might hear a little voice in your head tell you exactly what it means. And if you can't figure out what it is, the last thing you can do is Google it. That's one thing I had to do. I was given a series of numbers and I started looking them up and they were, um, Bible passages. All right, so I think 
that's it. Yeah. Here, I'll put this back on. So there's somebody here. Oh, there's turtles. Turtles. 